Alright, hello and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Super Robot Wars. In the depths of space a vile creature is born, it travels far, laying waste to worlds as it passes. Eventually it comes to spy a tiny blue planet. Super Robot Wars. Anyway, like I said, episode 2, so uh, let's hop into it. Last time, we uh, played as the Mazinger team, and we lost uh, Venus A to the enemy boss. And this is a game with permadeath. And unfortunately, I actually kind of wanted to keep her, but oh well. That's our team, so that's our team. Yes, this is okay. Lakeside Battle. This is the city of forest. Even here, the enemy's grip extends. Be wary of the terrain's effects. And yes, this is where you learn about terrain effects. Uh, and why flying units are the best for pretty much everything. Anyway, we have uh, our usual roster. We've got Great Mazinger, Regular Mazinger, uh, Aphrodite A, and Venus A, I believe. Diana A, excuse me. Now, these ones are all land, so they're kind of slow. And our opponents are a Zagok. We faced one of them uh, last time. He can't really do, uh, well, his rocket's good against air, but his claw is uh, very poor against air, only 60. Now here's Texas Mac. This is actually, uh... Oh, interesting. Here it's spelled correctly, Texas Mac. But on the uh, homepage, they misspelled it as uh, Texas Mach, like uh, Mach 1, Mach 2, Mach 3. No, not Zakok. Zagok. <laughs> anyway, we also have a, uh, a capule, also a C1. This one, his strongest weapon, is not so good against air, so Great Mazinger has an advantage. And then we've got uh, three Zakus, excuse me, four Zakus. With a Heat Hawk and a Zaku Machine Gun, we faced them last time. And for bosses, we have the original Gundam, complete with eyeballs because it's an SD Gundam, not the uh, actual game, a gun cannon, and an Elmuth. That's actually a uh, rough opponent to fight. She can be quite strong. Look at that. Range 4, will 8. That is a hell of a strong attack. And bits, will 6, guaranteed to hit pretty much with 110 hit. <coughs> so, let's get going. And apologies if I have a little, uh, little cough every now and then. I'm, uh, not exactly at 100% today. It's, uh... Still uh, recovering from uh, being sick. COVID-19. No, it's not the coof. Well, it's probably not the coof. Who knows? Maybe it is. So yeah, flying units can fly over terrain and nothing bad happens. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's start with you, because you can go further. So you can see forests will uh, slow down your land-based units, and mountains completely stop them. Can't go into mountains with land units. <laughs> Wait, I think the title should be questioned. What that's all about? <laughs> you got... <laughs> and we already have trollery in the chat. The most fun. Yes, this isn't a data live stream, but we're getting trolled. Well, I don't know if it's really we, because, you know. Anyway, there's our homing missiles at position uh, 26, 8. And aside from that, there is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There we go, we got a Heart of Justice. 
in a nice and hidden position. Let's just mark these off as we get them. There we are. <laughs> Pro Legend only does uh, hit and runs. Yes, he does. There we are. We got a Heart of Justice. Uh, let's see. This one is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah. Whoops. That's where I should have gone first. I already messed up a little bit. There we are. Biosensor. <laughs> so many hidden items in this game. You never would have even thought of looking for them if uh, you didn't have the game. If you didn't have it in the first place. All right. going. We got those guys done. Now, uh... 12,10. Let's check where that is. <coughs> oh, that's way over there, so no need to worry about that. Next, we're charging for that tower. Great, Mazinger, move up. And you guys can actually uh, sit tight. Actually, let's double check your range. Seven movement range, but your attacks are to range four. One, two, three, four. Perfect, just out of range. on, even though there's a bunch of data live uh, shenanigans in the chat. There is our Mega Bazooka. Now, Mega Bazooka was at coordinates 18, 13. From here on, we need to worry about 12, 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That corner has a hidden item. And that little uh, uh, half protected corner also has an item. And lastly. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And that forest has a hidden item. One of those guys is probably on a... No. Ah, Texas Mac. There we go. That's where the last tower is hidden. Oh no! I forgot, he already was in range. Hey, at least Aphrodite dodged. Cool. Enemy moves up, and now it's our turn once again. Uh... Nope, just range three. Not good enough for me. Hey, 
chocolate flavored. Congrats on 40,000 channel points. Mazinger, join in the fight. Someday you'll be able to do something with them. Yeah, sorry, I don't really have any, uh, any channel rewards for all those points you're gathering. Where? Wait, was that Aphrodite again? Oh, okay. I had Diana up front. For some reason, I thought I had Aphrodite up front. Oh well. You need emojis. I totally need emojis. I oh, know. You stay there and just let him come to us, because he doesn't have any attacks that can that can do it. Oh no! Aphrodite took a hit. That's why I thought that Aphrodite was up front. Because he was attacking Aphrodite since she was further back. Alright, now we get to fight Gundam. Yes, ouchies. Well, it's a female robot, of course it's gonna say ouchies. Not like ow or screw you. Hey, there's the uh, original Gundam, pretty much taken care of in a single action. Wow! Anyway, uh... Let's just Atomic Punch you. We got nothing better to do. Stovall says, no, fuck you would be better. There is a translation of Super Robot Wars Alpha that pretty much all the combat dialogue is just replaced with, fuck you! It's also completely broken, so uh, you can get yourself in trouble if you're not careful. However, uh, Super Robot Wars Alpha is permanently stuck at, uh, uh, 33, is, excuse me, 65% completion. Oh yeah, the, uh, chiptunes here are pretty fun. I enjoy them. Alright, Diana A versus Zakok. I'll stop singing. Let's uh, check my uh, attacks. Okay, no using uh, no using Thunder Break against water-based enemies, but Atomic Punch is perfectly fine. Big Pokemon vibes from this. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed Pokemon, but I can see the, uh... Oh yeah, so you can, uh... I guess here's something I can point out. You can try enlisting, which tries to uh, recruit the opponent to your team. But we won't bother with that. Especially not against Izaku. Let's just naval missile him. And there's most of his HP. Taken care of in a single attack. But yeah, the overworld theme I can totally hear, uh... Is, uh a Pokemon theme to it. Anyway, let's go, uh... Start off with a Rocket Punch. Not a Rocket Punch. That only has range 3, a Missile. There we go. That's what we needed. Actually, what are your other options? Range 3, will 4... No, Missile's the best option. Okanita, welcome! <laughs> I mean, it is for the original Game Boy, just like uh, the original Pokémon, so... 
the resemblance is there. I keep forgetting I need to hit A after that. Uh, there we go. Missile. Shoot a missile at you. Oh, so close. Survived with 2 HP. That sucks. The menus remind you of Pokemon. Well, it's for the original Game Boy. There's only uh, so much that they could have done. Mazinger, how do you counterattack? Photon beam! Kyoshiroku beam! You bastard! Ow, what? And now this Zaku should hopefully commit suicide on a great Mazinger. Oh, but he also does 5 damage, so... Not completely useless. We are reached level four. Everything gets a little stronger. No, you cannot decide what counter you use. Uh, the game decides how you counter. Anyway, now that we're here, let's hop into uh, a special. And let's use some spirits, but we will be uh, safe state grinding a little bit. Okay, good. We got train. What do we get? Great Mazinger. Charm. That was useless. But I'm not going to be grind. I'm not going to be cheating that badly. I'm just going to make sure we get a uh, spirit again. Nope. We did not get train. So we jump back. Still no. There's train. On Great Mazinger. Guard went up by one. Eh, good enough. Yes, you can charm robots and get them to join your team. Anyway, naval missile, since it's the strongest, we probably won't be able to kill him. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Counters counterattacks with a machine gun and he can't even hit us. Anyways, low HP. Low HP. You've got a decent amount of HP. One, two, three, four. But none of you can attack, so. Just great mo or just regular Mazinger Z. Toss an attack out here. Oh no, he dodged the rocket punch. Okay, now hopefully they should all turn around and focus on Great Mazinger and give him all the e e EXP. Oh no. You decided to still go for Aphrodite, but good. This one's attacking Great Mazinger. Also, naval missile being Great Mazinger's stronger attack, that makes so much sense, eh? Oh yeah! Of course! <laughs> it's not like uh, Thunder Break is uh, his big finishing move. There we are. Another kill. And only got one experience point, but that's kind of expected. Atomic Punch, uh, this dude. The snowball's falling asleep. Hey, I'm sorry you're only here for a day to live, but... It's, we're diversifying a little bit. <laughs> One, two, three, four... Okay. He can't do anything. This is so old, it's older than Snowball. This is so old, it's almost as old as me. from 1991. There we are! Zaku uh, killed himself against the uh, giant wall of uh, 
Oh, we improved... Oh, shoot. What was the... I forgot the name of the armor that Mazinger Z and Great Mazinger used. Anyway. Next item was over there, then over there... Yep, okay. We'll be flying out over this way. No, it's not Chobam armor. Anyway, we're done here. Let's keep moving. They're Super Alloy Z. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, that Zaku uh, committed suicide by slamming against a uh, wall of pure Super Alloy Z. Now let's check your attack range. Range 4. And I know I already checked yours, but I don't remember. Range 4 for both of them. One, two, three, four. But... The gun cannon will be able to counterattack. That's alright. I'll just have to accept that. If I'm lucky, I may dodge it. I thought you meant the items in the game. No, 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 in canon. Oof. Five damage. Okay. Let's attack... Actually... No. Let's try to enlist. Because... Oh, can I not go back? Okay. Enlist. Come on. Persuasion. Please join me. Texas Max responds. Hey! Texas Max joined us! The most American of super robots. Anyway, Texas Max. He is level 3, but the reason I wanted him is because he is also an air unit. Tex ass! <laughs> no! <laughs> you actually quite enjoy Texas. Uh. Snowball, your math is wrong, and you also misinterpreted what I said. I at least expect a conversation system like Mega Ten. Nope. <laughs> Math is highly flawed. Okay. And you guys can actually just stick around back there. Don't care. All done. Snowball, I'm sleepy dong bully. Okay. Actually, hang on. Uh, last item, Super Alloy Z, was at 15 comma zero. No. Uh, was that supposed to be a typo? On a forest spot? Hang on. This one is uh, 12 comma 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. That's where we want to go. Texas Mac, you grab our final hidden item, Super Alloy C, and Great Mazinger, you need to heal and obtain photon missiles. There we go. That is all the items on this map uh, acquired. Yes, this is water. Remember, this is the original Game Boy, so uh, graphics are kind of shitty. Anyway, Great Mazinger is at 30 HP. And after a heal, he is at 48. Cool. I may as well make you guys move up, but you probably won't be able to join anything useful. <laughs> and we'll wait one more turn, just so Great Mazinger's fully healed. I think the 
Texas guy should be a uh, SS boss. Okay. Let's go, uh... Let's go beat up this, uh... Is that Garada? I think that's Garada. No, that's Dublas. Excuse me. Oh, cool. Garada, 27 damage. Dublas M2, that's right. Ooh, 6 damage! Yeah, everything's uh, point blank. It's got a Texas sword and a Mac revolver. So, Stavity, how do you feel being left out on Mayuri? Aw, so sad. Uh, when does her event end? Two-headed dog. <laughs> now let's get the uh, Mac revolver. There's the getter theme. God damn! I have no idea why the rev why the revolver is range. I still have time. Okay, good. Ends on the twenty fourth. Very good. We might still get it. Get her. You know that's uh, that's the risk when you play the gotcha. There's the risk that in the end the gotcha will play you. Okay, commit suicide against, uh, Texas Mac. Aw, oh, dang it! Yes, he is full on Texas. Now, hopefully... Yeah, they're all focusing on Texas Mac. I'm not happy about this. Will our newest recruit get killed the moment we rec the moment we put him into battle the first time? No, he survived! Wonderful! He functioned perfectly as a meat shield. And now he can retreat right back to the tower, get his health back, and, uh, Great Mazinger can move in. Need one more support to have my Yuri set. Well, good luck, Snowball! Wish you the best of luck, uh, in all your gacha endeavors. There we go. And Gun Cannon will commit suicide, uh, uh against Great Mazinger on the next turn. Yes, yeah, Snowball, you are a whale. I am not. These dudes can all move forward, although, uh, these two are robot ladies, and this one is the dude. There we are. Now, Elmuth gets a free shot at Great Mazinger. Unfortunate. Can't really do anything about it. Wow! And Gun Cannon should commit suicide. Die! No! I will dodge, and you are the one that will die. Thunderbreak! Um, why is there uh, F for Stabity? What did I do? Or what did I not do? 31. Well, let's uh, step forward. We can attack with uh, Naval Missile. You know whale. Okay. Yeah, not a whale. 17 damage. Uh, no thank you. One moment, guys. Why, Boomer? Ban. There we go. Uh, only 9 damage. We can survive a, uh... Oh, two more attacks. The spammer has been killed. Anyway, how do you stand, Texas Mac? 23 out of 40. Nope, you can stay there and heal. 
yeah, look at that. As soon as they get to dry land, movement range is so much better. Yep, still want to go there. That's the best option. And we're done for now. This game? It's easy if you know the trick. Ah, that was better than I expected. I did not expect that to kill her right there. Okay, and that is that. Thanks to our heroes, the enemy fell, but a new enemy shall surely soon arise. Next episode, Twilight River. Be sure to watch. Okay, let's do some uh, quick power-ups. Mega Bazooka, no one can use it. Homing Missile, Texas Mac, you get a ranged attack now. Yes, uh, Photon Missiles. On, uh, start with Diana. Yes, we'll continue using Super Alloy Z on Great Mazinger. Increase your defense. And use it again to gain some more defense. Biosensor, I believe, was attack. Yes, it is. Chobam armor. Again, pump everything onto a Great Mazinger. This is all the story it has? This is all the story it has, Okanita. Uh, a good chunk of this is I'm just practicing, because uh, Super Robot Wars 2 is where it actually gets story. And that's where uh, we'll actually get into it. Anyway, Charisma 91 so we can still use the Heart of Justice. On Great Mazinger. No more powering up, and that got his charisma up to 95. Perfect! Anyway, let's save. There we go. And that is it for this episode. But Twitch, stick around.